So in this video, I have some tea. At least I think it's tea. Maybe not. We'll see. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought it would be interesting to do a little review of the Glossier products that I opened a couple of weeks ago. Um, I ordered more stuff because I fell in love with their products. However, this is going to be a little juicy. Um, mainly because every product that I used from my last video, um, the cleanser, the moisturizer, the lip balm, um, all of it was fantastic. The zit stick especially. So I thought. I'm just going to jump right into this. So as you can see, my face is not super broken out like it used to be, but I am definitely having some pimples. So I thought that um, this guy would help, right? Because it is a, a blemish stick and it was working for a while. It was reducing the redness. It was doing great. And then suddenly last night, I don't know what changed, but um, mm, I woke up with a chemical burn on my face. Um, you can't see it now. But I have pictures and I will post them here or here, one of the two, I don't know which one, but I will post them and I will show you. Now when I took these pictures it had settled down a little bit, but this morning I thought I had just woken up and slept with like something weird pressing against my face for the entire night. Um, but it turns out it was a chemical reaction um, and a chemical burn from this bad boy. Now I did use it more than I had been. Um, I've only been using it once at night, but last night I decided because I'm breaking out so bad to use it twice in, probably like twice in eight hours, which as I recall, the directions do tell you that you can see. So I'm not giving out false information. I read online or on here or on the packaging that you can use it for two to three times a day. Now it's about once every eight hours or once every 12. So I used it twice in an eight hour period and I woke up with chemical burns on my face. Um, not anything crazy, but enough for me to not want to use it anymore. So Glossier, unfortunately, that is a no-go for me. I know I have sensitive skin, but I've read reviews and it's pretty common for people to have um, chemical burns. Other than that, um, product review time before I go into the other unboxing. Um, the priming moisturizer, as you can see, I am pretty much done. Well, not really done. I still have a little bit of product left, but I am obsessed. I'm so obsessed with this moisturizer. It is so nice and it leaves my skin so moisturized for longer than I ever thought. Um, basically until the next time where I do have to moisturize when I'm washing my face fantastic the lip balm I love um, I don't have it with me because it's in my bag downstairs but um, I use it all the time my lips have stopped feeling like the Sahara Desert um, I used I think it was the coconut one is the one that I bought super obsessed with it and I really want to buy the birthday cake one um, but it's kind of you know sold out so that's not fun um, the other thing I love is the cleanser. Um, I haven't used too much of it, but I've used maybe like three or four times and I loved it every time. Um, it wasn't too harsh on my face, which I have a problem with because I am so fair and sensitive. So um, yeah, all in all, like Glossier is a great brand. I'm just really kind of disappointed about the zit stick just because we don't like chemical burns, sis. Either way. So this time i have another one um this box it's not as loaded as the other one was i kind of went a little crazy the first time and bought a bunch of products just to try this time i think i only bought two if i remember correctly we'll see because i don't really remember it's been a couple of um days since i've received this um, and about a week since I ordered it and I've been ordering a lot of things so I could do unboxings for you guys So I just lose track, but here is the second Glossier box. I'm really excited to open it. So Let's get going 
Oops. Oops. See, I can't even open stuff. Yay. All right. Oh, wait. I did order two things. Three things. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out, right? I look good. Oops. Do I? Do I look good with these hideous zits on my face? Glossy? I don't think I do. But thank you. I appreciate you. <gasps> Ooh, and I got another cool sticker. This one you can actually see because it's not iridescent. But, uh, dope. I love my stickers. So this goes over there. So we got another cute little... This one's a little bit smaller than the other one, I think. Yeah, it is. Um, so let's let's get into it. Let's see what I have. Because I love it so much, I got the sample size of the priming moisturizer because it really and truly is probably the best moisturizer I have ever used in my entire life. It is so good um, and so lovely and light and not tacky. So I'm a fan. Oh yeah! I got the Halo Highlighter. Um, I know you can't really see that. Does it work? Does it work? Yeah, there we go. Um, it's the Dew Effect Highlighter in ha Halo Scope in Quartz. I can't talk today. It's been a long day. Um, so we'll test out what she looks like. I also got the Boy Brow Grooming Pomade in brown. Um, now, I kind of wish I didn't get it in brown because I'm actually going to be changing my hair up a little bit in the next couple of weeks but it's okay we'll work with it it'll be totally fine and so I'm really excited to try this guy and I'll try it uh well I'm wearing brow product right now but we'll uh try it anyway and then I have my favorite thing which is super weird of me I've never liked lip gloss until recently especially clear lip gloss so I decided to get the lip gloss in clear because that was the only one that I could find um and I'm gonna use that now because my lips are dry. So, um, this is what she looks like. This is the little component. I have a hair, how? Um, super nice, super sleek. I love it, Glossier. Um, so let's try her. Does she smell weird? I'm weird, I smell things. Mmm, smells like vanilla almost. Um, let's see how it feels. I enjoy this. This is a. Ah, uh, yep. I'm a fan. This is some good lip gloss. I highly recommend. The next thing is the boy brow. Um, now, like I said, I'm wearing product already, so it might not be like the best results. However, we can we can still try. Um, oh, it's so small. So this is what it looks like. Almost similar to the uh, lip gloss, just obviously in a white component. And it has boy brow on the back. Um, it's just simple, normal pomade stuff. Um, okay, okay. I like this. You can barely tell the difference, but I enjoy that it defines my hairs in my brows. Um, and a hey girl, okay. My brows are a bit sloppy today. Oh my gosh, I'm breaking up so bad. <laughs> lost it the halo scope dewy highlighter in quartz so this is what she looks like it's just like a little stick it's the back solid component um excuse me is it supposed to be oh that may be the dewy part it's weird you can't really yeah see it has like that weird Anyway, so let's um let's try her. Oh, I see the dew. Okay, did I just get something? Yeah, I did. So okay. Um, granted, I have some acne going on, but it's supposed to like. Do you guys see a difference? Cause I don't. 
<gasps> I don't know. Um, Grant, and I don't have foundation on or anything like that, obviously, so, like... Um, I mean, okay. I wasn't expecting it to be, like, super, like, wah, but I was kind of expecting a little bit more of a, like... I don't know. Not as subtle. Considering, like, it has pigment. I don't know. You guys can't see that. But I'm kind of disappointed. But, you know, I'm used to that. <laughs> like I said, all in all, most of the products that I've tried, I'd say, well, let's see, I've had one, two, three, four. Out of the, like, eight products that I've bought, uh, really, one or two of them haven't been, like, my favorite. And that's just my preference. Other than the zit stick, um, if you've had issues with the zit stick, let me know because I'd like to uh, relate to somebody. That's just not good. It's not good to get chemical burns when you're supposed to be like healing something. And I know it has acid and stuff in it. Not like straight acid, but you know what I mean. But even then, it shouldn't have that effect on your skin. All right, on that note, I am going to go eat some dinner uh, and uh, go figure out this whole mess of a face. I'm going to go do some more self-care. I'm going to make sure that my face and my skin and everything in between is nourished and loved because right now it's hating me and I just, I just need to pamper myself for a little bit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You know, the same old, same old. <laughs> and I hope to see you next time. Bye.